doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to repair a hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 5010. Um, now with these laptops, they're fully enclosed. So the hard drive, it's not under the keyboard, nor is there a door where you can get to the opening on it. Um, on this one, it just has a door for the RAM and that's it. So basically we're going to have to total disassemble the entire laptop. Okay, so the first thing you're obviously going to do is we're going to take the battery out. And what I use, like to use is a cobalt 10 piece precision set. It's really nice. Makes life pretty easy. Has all the screwdrivers you need. Alright, so pretty much we're going to take this door off and then we're going to take each individual screw out right here. Also, make a quick note, underneath this uh, RAM door, there's a screw right here, and that is for your DVD-ROM. So you're going to want to take that out. And then, to get the DVD-ROM out, once you take the screw out, Let's see if I can give you a quick zoom. Once you take the screw out, you're going to go ahead and push this forward, like that and then the DVD-ROM should come all the way out. Okay, one more quick tip is right here on the back corners of the laptop by the battery, you're going to see two little rubber grommets. You're going to want to stick your screwdriver in there and pop them out. And they look just like, just like that. I don't know if you can see it very well. Just little rubber grommets. And there's screws underneath that. Also, on the front too, there's rubber grommets in each corner. Okay, there's one more right here. It's right in the RAM door. There's two underneath the RAM door. So don't forget that. Okay, so a quick little tip. You're going to want to get a flathead screwdriver, and right here on where the battery is, you're going to want to pop these out. So you're going to kind of push them in a little bit, and pop them. Okay, right here, you're just going to push forward, and then pop them out, and they should all pop right out. Okay, so now that we have taken all the screws out of the bottom, you're going to go ahead and flip the laptop over and you're going to open it up. Okay, now, once we open it up, right here in the very top, there's going to be one, two, three, four little notches that are holding this keyboard in. I'm going to see if I can give you a better visual. Okay, so here's your better visual. Basically, if you look right in here, push that key down, you see those little pins? There's four of them. You're just going to take this, you're going to push it on the pin, Make sure you push the pin all the way forward. There's another one right here. I'm just going to push it until it pops up. Another one here. And then there's one last one. Total of four. And once all those are popped, you can kind of get a screwdriver or just barely pull up on your key. Try not to pop the keys off. Try to hold the camera and do it at the same time. If you do pop a key off, I'll show you how to put one on. You're going to take this little ribbon right here with a flat head, and all you're going to do is just slide it under the black part. Give you a better visual. You're just going to slide it under the black part, and you're going to give it one little lift. See how it lifted up? And then you're just going to pull it right out. And that's it. Okay, so we've gone ahead and uninstalled the keyboard and taken all of the screws out on the bottom and removed the DVD ROM. So what's next is, is we're going to have a few more screws right here where the indentions are. We're going to remove all those screws too as well. Okay, so now you've removed all the screws, you're going to go ahead and maybe slide your finger into the 
DVD ROM slot and put your finger through the hole here and give it a nice pull up until it pops. Alright, now that it's popped, you're going to have some cables, some ribbons underneath here. If you look right here, you're going to remove this same way you did with the keyboard. You're just going to slide it under, pop it up, and then pull it out. And don't forget to remove the other two over here. There's one and two. One for the power button and the other one for the touchpad. Now that we have everything disassembled, the hard drive should be just two little, actually it might not take any screws, some of them do, some of them don't. This one looks like you're going to have to go ahead and put your finger, let me give you a better visual. Okay, you're going to have to go ahead and put your finger underneath the back end and just pull out. And then that's it. You have successfully removed your hard drive. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on how to remove a hard drive from a Dell Inspiron M5010. Please subscribe.